I developed this technique probably about seven years ago um, of recreating birdsong but using human voices. This is a reenactment of a dawn chorus where each bird will be sung by a, a different singer. David today will be singing like a song thrush. So I'm not like waking up under covers. It's like no, you just, I think you're just hanging out in this weird dark space. Right. <laughs> we got some fantastic recordings and we slowed down the bird song. <laughs> Double sided, that's the thing. They have a little earpiece and they sing along with it. And I film them singing this, and then we speed the film up to the original bird speed. And what you in effect get is an extremely accurate rendition of a bird song. We're also using human habitats, and uh, David said that he spends a lot of time in hotels, and it's a kind of habitual place for him. And I think uh, David sitting here in his underpants, he's in a very human environment. All right, let's run. I'm starting to play now. Oh, oh. Oh. This project's more about, rather than us projecting our emotions and our kind of needs onto birds, it's kind of the other way around. We are becoming birds. And there is that element in all of us that um, wants to believe that, that birds enjoy singing and they're... Um, they're singing because they're in love, or they're joyous, or they're, they're just singing because they're pleased to be alive. It wasn't just the, the song that became very accurate when we sped it up. Also, the people's movements and their mannerisms. It's almost as if, if you sped humans up ten times, they become much more like birds. 